Oh, hey, look, it's Wayne Farina. Hey, y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. I'm here at the, the Bonhams auction here, Amelia 2023. And uh, yeah, I'm about to enter the tent. Mm. This classic Royce drop head coupe. Um, that's that's a head and it drops. It's convertible. That's what normal people call it. Um, and, and an Accord. This uh, is a Gato, slant nose, beautiful M3. Man, you've got you know American a DeSoto, a Mopar, Thunderbird, Hudson. Mmm. Oh. 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 There you go. That's uh, one of the most amazing cars ever made, an SLR, McMark, as Clarkson would call it. Just glorious in the sun. Wow, look at this Bugatti. It's a uh, 1934 Type 57 Stelvio. My goodness, look at the paint on this. It's amazing. The blue leather, the wooden dash, and of course the artwork of that engine is just fantastic. It's not chromed or anything, but it's just beautifully done. Amazing quality. But it, of course, is one of the most expensive cars here. Another Bugatti. Fantastic. Just what, like a grayish blue. Gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, with a dark red interior. Wow. Uh, that's just, that's amazing though. You want an F40? Here's an F40. I saw my first F40 here at Amelia a few years ago in person. And uh, here's another one. This looks absolutely flawless. The paint is just immaculate. I hope it's coming across in the 4K. Um, so this one's probably never been driven. Um, this is a Corvette race car. Uh, convertible with a hardtop. It's a Yenko. That's why it's here. It's a Yenko. It's a doozy. That's the first step. It's a doozy. Yeah. Uh, this would be a Duesenberg when they made their own bodies and everything. Um, not one of the famed ones. Oh, here's a nice Mercedes. <laughs> wow. So you've got the, the windshield in the back. Beautiful engine turn dashboard and wood trim everywhere. Golly. <laughs> Look at that. 1928. The turn signals and how, or driving lights, I guess they are, how intricate they are in the lenses. Oh, good. It's keeping us cool. Bentley. 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 Not a Bentley. Royce. 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 Uh, Royce. I'm uh, Royce, Roy, uh, I'm getting kind of tired of these, but there's a Camargue here, and these are always so weird. That's why everyone's around it. These just had a very unusual front end. They were kind of panned for their design, but for their era, you know, late 70s, they were very much the way that things were designed then. I mean, it's, you know, big, you know, square trunk. Um, of course, it's a beautiful interior on this. It's actually a decent amount of rear seat legroom in there, considering, I mean, it, you know, it's a pretty long car, in the usual six and three quarter liter or 6.75 for the rest of the world um but yeah i think i think it's the headlight treatment that sets it apart there's the asian eye one down there chinese eye whatever they call it you know it's not pc but that's what they're called um this is a good color actually it's like a rust brown 82 okay yeah yeah and it's got this the the dog dish hubcaps all right there's a lot more stuff to check out let's go look i didn't know they sold pontoon boats here ah! <laughs> oh i see you came for brunch all right How's brunch? Delicious. Okay. Things are about to get started. The music's coming up. Uh, I'm not a registered bidder because uh, you don't watch enough of my videos. <laughs> yeah, for Alina. Starting to fill in. Wait, wait, why am I following you and where are you going? Oh, you want to be in, is that a Fassel Vega? Three, three Fossil Vegas? Ooh. Uh, this is a 1960. It looks like it might be a survivor, judging by the, uh, the, the paint. Yeah, three of them. When's the last time you saw three in a row? Ever? <laughs> Never, right, yeah. <laughs> wow, 61, I'd say maybe they're, in, maybe they're in order. This one's got the Barani wheels. It's a 63, oh wow, this is the one I would take. I love this blue with the red. Uh, so shiny here unfortunately it's hard to really show the interior and the windows are up as you can imagine um 
rear AC. That one, that one might have it over there. This one doesn't have any vents back here, but check out the, the rear AC vents on this. They're a little, eh, pretty cool. Ooh, oh, oh, that's unfortunate, but I guess this is the way it is fastened too. Look at the turn signals up on top of the fins. Really cool. <laughs> Automatic, of course. Yeah, it's really interesting how they did the AC vents with the little Ooh, cups really to shoot cool. it, shoot it yeah, forward. Very sweet. Um, wow. So that's just that's just a you know Mopar V8. That's what they all had. Oh, this is more my speed. <laughs> I love an old BMW, especially a, one with Alpina wheels and um, mm, C CS. Interesting Montana plate. I guess that's. Yeah, this is just this is just great. This is just the first auction we're going to today. Oh, oh, that one's being towed. It, it's like uh, it's like our race car used to be. We have to tow it off the track when Alex drove. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> that's, that's a good a, color. Yeah, I like the I like the color on that. Oh, oh, that one's that one's a little squeaky. Oh, what is this thing? Is this a Mercedes? Yeah. This is a Mercedes, isn't it? Interesting wheels. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. Like the hub has the Mercedes logo on it, and they're just like. Oh, that's right, Mr. Mercedes is here. <laughs> Panoramique. That's in, um, oh wow, look at the size of that and, and the size of that. Uh, yeah, it, it's the same kind of um, upholstery that Hoobie put in his uh, Ferrari 348. Ooh. Uh, you're not taking too much luggage with you in this thing, though. That's interesting. Oh, these seats probably must be later. Yeah, they're definitely later. They, they say Cetra on them when Kespor or Cetra was in Ulm when I used to live there in Germany. But what's being pulled by now? Oh, the Chinese eye. Another one not running. Not a bad color, but just a, not an attractive car. They honked at you to get out of the way, you know. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This poor thing's seen some better days. What is it? A 49. I bet they'll be towing this one across too. Look at the patina down there. Gosh, look at those. I wonder if it's something that like Wayne Carini found or something, you know? Ooh. Oh gosh. I hope you have your tetanus shot up to date if you try to drive that. Woo-wee. That's tight quarters next to this. Well, the floors are wet. Yeah, the, well, floor, the, what floors? <laughs> oh, are you just texting? Okay. Uh, wow. Look at that. Look at This is just amazing. This one I could probably actually fit in. Oh, yikes. Look at those batteries. How often do you get to see the batteries? Um, in, in any XK120, unless you have one. Oh wow, they you can see the uh, aluminum there on the, on the hood. Very neat. <laughs> it's got some over here that um, are in slightly better nick, as they say. This one's really pretty. Very, very nice. But then, oh, this E-Type coupe. Oh, good. Virginia 79. This is, must have been parked underneath something that leaked really badly. Gosh. Really, really really gross but gonna go for a ton of money as opposed to this one that's absolutely gorgeous and black interior interesting with the red the my buddy over there has a red one with a tan interior which is really nice but it's not factory correct his was also that terrible light yellow color i believe when it was factory fresh lister so this is obviously a race jag wow this is the, the hood on this is it's got to be nine feet long hmm little leather covered shifter there in the middle and you can see the actual top of the transmission a little tiny steering wheel very cool fuel filler and a bunch of 911s air-cooled ones these will bring millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars it's a manual of course it will is this a four-wheel drive mg mg magnet roadster i don't know oh hey look it's wayne karina he probably bought some of the cars that are here yeah he's everybody's uh pressing the flesh with wayne of course but uh his business partners over here on the phone they're probably discussing <laughs> what they're gonna buy sunbeam oh very nice you know <laughs> i gotta go up to wayne and say i gotta keep stop bumping into you at these kinds of events it's the only place i ever see him uh staging lanes are starting to get lined up there's that uh lagonda over there oh wow interesting oh, oh a rover hey this is right up my alley interesting color it's got tan jump seats in it uh, this is nice v10 um it's an automatic though. This is cool. I like this. Very neat. I love the color. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh, um, a regular Vandenplau. <laughs> I think these are called 
Daimlers in UK for some reason, even though that's a Mercedes. But this is not a Mercedes, this is a Jag Vandenplau. Hmm, what a field. So I just talked to one of the guys at the shop here, and this is Voodoo Blue. They're out of Aiken, South Carolina. Uh, this one was apparently flooded in France and brought over. It is a 3.5. Um, now I can get a little better look at the inside. Oh, wow. That is really nice. Um, they're already taking cars in, so this is going to go across the block fairly soon. I'll have to check it out because this is going to go for big money, I'm sure. These, these Astons are so incredibly rare. Uh, and of course it's a manual, which is awesome and beautiful green interior, and, uh, light green exterior, but, uh, these Zagato front ends are pretty sweet. And now I can actually get a pretty close to one. I've, I've seen these in the person before and they're very neat, but next to one of my all-time favorites, of course. E30 was my first car, but mine was a 318i, the base model with 101 horsepower. And this is the lovely M3. It's got a kilometer per hour speedometer, so it's obviously either Euro or Canadian market car. Um, yeah, Euro market. Tell by the garage Rolla. That is Spanish or Portuguese or something, I assume. Or maybe French, I don't know. Um, slightly adjustable rear wing there is pretty cool. And the basket weave BBS's right next to, you know, Tri-5. Looks like a 50. Let's see, when do they do the Continental kit? 57? It, it's got a rear wiper on this on this 930. That means extra 15 horsepower easily because of that rear wiper. Easily 15 extra horsepower. It's a gated manual 355 Spider. Beautiful color. Is it 65? Note to self, don't raise my hand. Alright, with the gavel up, 
at 125. It's 125 there, over the phone at 125. You want to give it to click now. 125, they're going once. 125, twice. And selling at 122, 500. 125 online. <laughs> Just in time. Uh -huh. Just in time. We we'll take 27. I think people do that next. on purpose, you know? <laughs> the next bit will be 127 and 5. So start thinking about it. 127 and 5 would be the next bit. It's 125 right now. 125 against you. At 125,000. 125,000 votes against you. 125, they're going once at 125 twice and selling at 125,000 dollars. It's probably a pretty good deal. It's a beautiful car. Next one I want to see is that Land Rover we saw up front. The guys who built it over here somewhere, they're watching it. I think it's a couple of cars away, so we'll come back to that. All right, it's time for the Rover. One of the guys who worked on it is right here. So I know they're going to be eagerly anticipating. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Voodoo blue. Yeah. This is going to be fun. This is good for big money. I'm fairly sure. Based on a factory left and right 110 with an V8. 3.5 liter V8. But it has had a fantastic memory installation with many, many tasteful upgrades and use of fantastic power in the CPU on the right. Car has come only 4,000 miles since the Only 4,000 miles. Only 4,000 miles. There you go. Almost as if brand new. It looks amazing. It looks stunning, ladies and gentlemen. The Land Rover Defender from 1991. Of course, we know. 91. Okay, that's right. 35,000 I have. 35,000 I have. And where's the value you need? 35,000. This is 35, and I can sell it at 35,000. 35,000 is the bid. 35,000 next to 38. At 35,000 dollars. This is 35,000. Am I selling the Defender at 35,000? Hi, Bill. How are you? 35,000. This is 35,000. 35,000 dollars. I'm with me at 35, and I can sell it at 35,000. Bill, you need to. No? I'm sure. I'm surprised that no one's gone up. Anything. Whoa. That is a bit 38. Oh, okay, there we go. That's how it works. That's about 100,000 less than I thought I was going to sell for. This is actually 42. It's 41. 41. Of course. 41,000 for Bill. 41,000 is a 41, and I'm out of 41,000. I can sell it at 41. And you come to 41,000 there. But this is 41,000 now. 42. Where's my 42? All right, baby, I think it's a 42 bill, 43. 42,000, I have 42,000, you better go to 42 stand, thank you. 42,000, I'm selling at 42, right? At 42,000, I'm going to say 42,000, 43,000. 44,000. This is so much cheaper than I thought this was going to go for. I really thought they would start with a one. 46. And be six digits. New bidder, 47,000. Can we go 48? 47,000. 47,000. 47,000. That's a new place. Miles, it's your bidder. It's 47,000. 47,000 now. Barry's bidder. Where are we, Barry? 47. 47. Barry's got the bidder at 47,000 now. 47,000 now. It's the Barry's bidder. Let's make sure that we all know that that's the one. It's not the one that you have, Miles. Barry's bidder at 47,000. Barry gets 48. Man, they're having me up at 50. Shot. Okay, 48,000 for Barry. 48,000. 48,000. No? 47 is with you then, sir. We'll keep it with you at 47,000. Steve is right there for the sister ship we need. 47 and a half. 47 to 5? 47,000, Bill. What were you saying? 47 is against you, Bill. 47,000 is at the back of the room at 47,000. And the gap is up at 47. Steven's good at 47,000. And the back of the room at 47, going back to 48,000. Against you now, Steve. 48 is against. Can we go 49, sir? 49,000. Oh, please, come on. <laughs> It'll make my day. <laughs> That's worth something, you know? Alright, thank you very much. 50,000 I have. Thank you. 50,000. 50,000. Finally. Is bid at $50,000. It's like totally stalled out there for a while. 50,000. One more? 51. 51. There you go. Thank you very much. 51. I, I figured as much. I figured as much. 51,000 is the bid. Someone needs to do a knockout blow here and go for 60 yeah, go or something. 51,000. And twice at 51,000. And second at 51. And hold on. 51,000. What country do you think this is? Oh, made it. It's Florida. And if you know that quote and that license plate, you know this car. Um, obviously, the car in the film was destroyed, but hey, you can always imagine Ferris driving off in the sunset with Sloan. 
I don't know, this is a nice Daytona coupe. Oh yeah, I love when they have the Daytona seats with the leather like that. Interesting ducts in the hood. And it's the flip-up lights, it's not the covered lights in the front. So, things have uh, not been signed for a lot of money here, which is odd. Um, 911SC went for 42 grand. That Rover sold really, really, really cheaply. I'm, I'm shocked. So are we all. So, on that note, uh, I'm gonna be about to go to the next auction. So, uh, y'all stay tuned for some more videos coming your way soon. I hope you enjoyed today's preview of the uh, uh, Bonhams Amelia. We're off to Goodings next, so look for that video coming soon. Thanks y'all for watching Dex Cars, and uh, adios from Fernandina Beach.